Warren Buffett is a really successful investor who's been around for a long time, earning him the nickname, Oracle of Omaha. People love his investing strategies. He's famous for holding onto investments for a long time and has a huge collection of different investments, making him one of the top investors globally. We looked at the companies in Warren Buffett's portfolio, specifically focusing on the ones that pay the highest dividends and seem ready to do well in the current situation where interest rates are expected to stay high for a while. So let's get started on the best Warren Buffett stocks for 2024. 1. Citigroup. This is a big bank that has bounced back well from its lowest point, and Warren Buffett bought a huge $2.5 billion worth of its stock in the summer of 2022. Citigroup Inc. is a major global financial company that offers a wide range of financial products and services to individuals, businesses, and governments. Citigroup provides services like banking for regular people and giving loans, helping businesses with banking and investments, dealing with securities, handling transactions, and managing wealth. The company operates in more than 160 countries around the world. Currently, its stock is considered quite cheap, being valued at 7.5 times the estimated earnings for 2023. This makes it a reasonable choice in a market that is still a bit uncertain and in a sector that has not performed as well. On top of that, investors get a big dividend of 5.03%. 2. Diageo PLC. This company is one of the biggest makers of alcoholic drinks globally, and it also gives a steady 2.5% dividend. Diageo PLC makes, markets, and sells alcoholic beverages all over the world. They offer various drinks like scotch whiskey, gin, vodka, rum, beer, Irish cream liqueurs, wine, tequila, and more. Some of the well-known brands they have are Johnny Walker, Smirnoff, Captain Morgan, Bailey's, Tanqueray, and Guinness. 3. Kraft Heinz. Even when things aren't going well, this company still does great, and people who own its stocks get a really nice dividend of 4.77%. The Kraft Heinz Company came together when H.J. Heinz Company and Kraft Foods Group merged. It's a big global food company, making about $25 billion each year from popular brands like Kraft, Heinz, Oscar Mayer, and Maxwell House. Kraft Heinz is the third largest maker of food and drinks in North America, getting 76% of its money from there and 24% from other countries. The company also has other well-known brands like ABC, Capri Sun, Jell-O, Lunchables, and Velveeta. 4. Kroger. The Kroger Company is a retailer in the United States, running different types of stores like food and drug stores, multi-department stores, marketplace stores, and price impact warehouses. People who own Kroger stocks get a reliable 2.56% dividend. The food and drug stores have sections for natural and organic foods, pharmacies, general merchandise, pet centers, fresh seafood, and organic produce. Multi-department stores sell things like clothes, home items, outdoor stuff, electronics, automotive products, and toys. Marketplace stores have a full range of groceries, pharmacy items, health and beauty products, and more. Price Impact Warehouse stores offer groceries as well as meat, dairy, baked goods, and fresh produce. Kroger also makes and processes food in its supermarkets and online, and it sells fuel through 1,613 fuel centers. As of January 29, 2022, the company had 2,726 supermarkets in 35 states in the District of Columbia. 5. Berkshire Hathaway. You don't need special predictions to guess that Buffett will focus on buying back Berkshire Hathaway's own shares, and that's exactly what they've been doing in 2023. They spent $7 billion on buying back their own stock in the first nine months of the year, which is more than what they own in almost all other stocks. Unlike many companies that have limits set by their boards for buying back shares, Berkshire's program is unique. They can buy back shares whenever Buffett and Vice Chairman Charlie Munger feel the stock price is lower than what Berkshire is truly worth. The only condition is that Berkshire must keep at least $30 billion in cash, cash equivalents, and U.S. Treasury bills. If you had to bet on which stock Berkshire will invest in the most next year, it's likely to be Berkshire itself. 6. Occidental Petroleum. I think Occidental Petroleum will be the second biggest purchase for Berkshire's portfolio in 2024. It's not a tough prediction since Buffett has been a big fan of Occidental, regularly buying shares of the oil company in the last few years. Currently, Berkshire owns about 25.8% of Oxy, valued at around $13.8 billion, why do I expect Buffett to buy more Occidental shares next year? We need to go back to August 2022 for the answer. That's when Berkshire got approval from the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission to potentially acquire up to 50% of Occidental. 
while it doesn't mean Berkshire has to increase its stake to that approved level, I believe Buffett and his team wouldn't have pursued the approval if they didn't want to buy a lot more of the oil company. 7. Mitsubishi. Berkshire already owns 8.3% of this Japanese trading company, making it the ninth largest holding. I believe this stake will probably go up next year. Buffett assured that Berkshire wouldn't buy more than 9.9% of Mitsubishi, and he made the same promise for the other four Japanese trading companies in Berkshire's portfolio. Still, I won't be surprised if Buffett pushes Berkshire's buying right up to that limit. Munger recently described Berkshire's initial investment in Mitsubishi and similar companies as if it were as easy as having God pouring money into a chest. He called the decision to buy these Japanese stocks a no-brainer, as always with Buffett's investments, the value matters a lot. Considering Mitsubishi's stock is trading at only 10.4 times earnings from the past year, I think we might see Berkshire buying more of this Japanese stock in 2024. That's it for the video. Do hit the like button and for more such content subscribe to this channel.